guys and gals and welcome to another video from the team here at BlenderTech.com. If you enjoyed or learned something from the video, consider liking it and consider subscribing for more Blender, Unity 3D, coding and all sorts of other CG related videos. Lastly, don't forget our model, Create Your Way. So I've created a few uh, point tracking videos in the last little bit and I wanted to add one that will be really quite short. I wanted to uh, talk about and show how to do offset uh, offset point tracking. This is when the point that you're tracking goes out of the video frame and then comes back in. So I want to show you how to do that. So we, I'm using Blender 2.73, the new official release. So I'm going to go into the motion tracking tab and we have we have the nice new um, point tracking tab. I'm going to open up a movie clip. And so we just have a standard video clip here that you would uh, you would track and you would normally pick some points to track. Now, um, when I did some tracking on this video, I noticed that this little wall hanger up here went out and end of the frames. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show that one off. So I'm gonna select the very bottom of the um, of the wall hanger by control clicking to set a new track point. And I can grab. Oops. I can grab it and center it a little bit more accurately, but Blender's pretty good, especially in 2.73. And I'm gonna let Blender track it uh, automatically until it goes off the frame. So I'm just gonna make sure that's selected and I'm gonna hit track forward. So you can see it gets stuck at track 84. That's simply because it got too blurry. So I'm just gonna manually reset it and continue on. There we go. So it's now gone off of the off of the the video frame completely. You'll see if I go back a couple frames, you'll see the last frame it tracked was 146 and 147 for some reason. I don't know why it it would um track on this frame. So I would uh, go back a frame and I would go clear forward to get rid of that extra frame where it went off screen. So now it's gone off screen, what can I do? Well, here's what you do. You simply scrub through your timeline until you find where it comes back. We'll see it start we see it starting to come back about right there. So I'm going to I'm going to start at frame 178 here. And all I'm going to do is add a second tracking point now. So I'm going to control click where I uh, originally added the first point, so right in the bottom corner of it, and set it up about where I want it. I'm going to track a couple frames manually, and then I'm going to let Blender do the rest. So I'm going to go forward a frame, and then I'm going to I'm going to set it up, and go forward a frame and set it up and forward a frame and set it up until it comes back completely forward a frame forward a frame forward a frame forward a frame all right blender should be able to handle that now let's find out so i'm going to track forward and it's tracked all the way to the end, 250 frames in this case. So now what we have is two separate points. You'll see if I scrub back. This one tracks just fine. As long as it's on the screen. And the other one, I'll lock to it. That one tracks fine as long as it's on the screen. From the beginning to 187 or whatever so now what i'm going to do at frame one is i'm simply going to select both both of these however you want to select them right click circle select box select whatever and i'm going to select the main one first the original one first so i'm going to select that one first and then i'm going to make sure i select the uh the secondary one second so obviously the uh the main one will be yellow and the secondary one will be white and then all i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to hit this merge 
this merge button join tracks. I think it was something different in Blender 2.7, so I can't remember. But anyways, you join the tracks. I know the button's there for sure in all versions. And now it's combined it into one track. You can see up here in our um, graph editor, I believe, yeah, that um, for a few frames there's nothing at all, but that they're now combined. So now when we scrub through the timeline, it tracks fine until it goes off the wall. And then it comes back and it continues to the end. So this is good just for having extra points, for having more um, accuracy, more parallax, um, and just, just general and overall tips. So yeah, that was just a quick one. I wanted to show you guys how to do that. I think that makes pretty clear sense. I'm going to make a full tracking video next using this vid video on how to um, how to overlay 3d objects on top of this so expect that very soon so anyways thanks for watching from the team here at blendertech.com if you enjoyed this video and learned something consider liking it and consider subscribing for more videos we're now on twitter at twitter.com slash blender underscore tech and facebook at facebook.com slash blender tech page all one word if you dislike this video for some reason don't just hit the thumbs down button and leave. Instead, please leave us a comment telling us what you did not like, or if it's private, please email us at info at blendertech.com. That way we can continually improve our videos based on your community input. We also take requests for tutorials, so if there's something that you would like to see, let us know. And we also do call for help, so if you're having trouble with something and time permits and it's not it's not too advanced we will definitely try to uh, help you out and set up some videos for you so just send us an email or comment so see you next time remember create your way